Is right. it recording now? Uh, does it say recording? Yeah, it's the time that, that the red thing is, it's recording. So, um, Thierry, as the Geneva representative of Knowledge Ecology International, what, what do you have to say about this morning's meeting? How do you think it went? I think it went better than expected. I was pleasantly surprised to hear uh, the interventions of Colombia, uh, China, and uh, Thailand. Um, especially with the former two, Colombia and Thailand, gave strong backing for an R&D treaty. Yeah. And it was interesting to hear uh, the statement by the government of China with respect to 0.7 commitments of developed countries, uh, you know, to uh, biomedical R&D research. So what was it that you thought was particularly good about China's statement? I would just, because often I would say that I think um, when I've heard China intervene at WHO or WIPO, they often don't take s strong positions. They um, and, and in this particular case, I think, you know, as it's quite interesting to me, considering that China is a very strong emerging country and with the, probably the third largest economy or the second largest economy in the world, they're still calling upon um, developed countries to, uh, you know, honor their commitments. But I think one thing that, you know, other actors, you know, rightly would also say is that you know, what would be the positions of Brazil, India, China, South Africa in terms of thinking about uh, commitments. And it's, it's hard to say right now exactly mm. what, what the role of the BRICS would be. But I think overall, I think developing countries, um, you know, offered strong backing uh, to the R&D convention.